As families gather for Thanksgiving, you might hear bits of vaccine misinformation at the dinner table, like the false claim that vaccines don't prevent COVID infections or transmission. ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth on the science you need to respond. There's overwhelming evidence that vaccines keep people out of the hospital, but what about this? We know, and the data is very clear at this point, uh, COVID vaxes are not preventing infection. Okay, it's just not. This claim stems in part from an October study in the journal The Lancet. The authors looked at COVID transmission in households. They found that when a vaccinated person came home with a breakthrough infection, they transmitted the virus to the same number of household members as an unvaccinated person with an infection. One reviewer wrote the study highlights that the vaccine effect on reducing transmission is minimal. So I asked two infectious disease experts, just how accurate is that? It's a totally different thing to say that the vaccines do not prevent transmission. It's just complete distortion of the facts. The reality is if you are vaccinated, you are much less likely to get COVID and then to spread COVID. And so what's happening here is, is people cherry picking little tiny pieces of information without going deeper. To go deeper, Dr. Christian Ramers of Family Health Centers of San Diego says you have to understand the term viral load. It's a measurement of the viral particles in a person's blood. Vaccine critics argue these tests show vaccinated people with a breakthrough are just as infectious as the unvaccinated because their viral loads peak at roughly the same level. But there's an important limitation with the way a viral load test works. Dr. Raymer says it can sense the virus's code or RNA. But it doesn't give any context of what else is going on around that RNA. And, and having antibodies there might mean, yes, you found the RNA. Yes, you found the evidence that the virus is there but it's surrounded by antibodies and not infectious at all. A study from the University of Illinois found vaccinated people with a breakthrough emit weaker viral particles thanks to damage from those protective antibodies. They also emit fewer of them and for less time. The data that we've seen suggests that, in fact, that, that vaccinated people can indeed transmit this virus. However, they transmit it for a much shorter period of time. UCLA epidemiologist Dr. Ann Ramoyne says that shows breakthrough cases are less infectious to others overall all, and a study from the Netherlands backs that up. But there's another important component to transmission. Vaccinated people were less likely to be infected in the first place, and the people making this talking point just forget to mention that, I guess. Even with months of waning immunity, studies repeatedly show vaccines prevent more than 50% of infections with or without symptoms. And if a vaccinated person doesn't get infected, they can't transmit the virus to anyone. So doctors say while it's true these vaccines won't prevent all transmission, there's plenty of evidence they prevent a lot. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News. All right.